what's up y'all so i'm gonna do this real quick right now i'm gonna uh, remove the the throttle body and the spacer because i'm getting tired of it being the that color i should have painted it a while ago but i didn't so i'm gonna paint it a uh, wrinkle black like the rest of my engine theme so yeah i'm taking off the the parts right now or at least trying to because i have all brand new hardware basically almost on everything that's what i'm trying to do right now and hopefully it comes out comes out good all right Charles. i don't know if y'all can see this or not but this is the wrinkle that i slapped on here and yeah i'm gonna try to paint the surrounding of it i'm gonna take off the the iac and yep i'm gonna try to get it uh get both of these looking cool to match the rest of the theme because right now it ain't matching at all and it's been bothering me other than that it's ready for dropping probably i get the car back the hatch back on saturday most likely saturday probably sunday the latest and um after that I get the car back i just gotta make sure i detail it i want to detail it i'm super uh, meticulous like that so i'm gonna detail it after i detail it start installing parts and then try to drop the motor as soon as possible i still got a little few things coming i got rid of my fuel rails and i got some other some other uh fuel rails some aeromotive so I'm, i gotta paint those to match i'll probably paint them gloss black and then after that we should be solid we should be good to go it's looking cool though it's looking super good man we'll see and then i got man i got parts on parts i got a radiator here i got been having parts for months since like last year i got a lot of stuff man i still got to slap on um yeah up and a lot of parts probably for sale too because i'm not gonna lose a lot of these parts yep all right y'all so this is what i use i use high temperature primer to paint parts like these like the spacer and the throttle body and then i use the the wrinkle plus but you gotta prep it you gotta sand it and and clean it good so it sticks good and it won't chip but yeah i just primed it right now so i just gotta allow like 10 minutes between each coat and then spray my my wrinkle coat but yeah, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. It'll look cool once it's done. And then I taped off all the parts that I didn't want painted. Well, that should not be painted. But yep, it's looking cool. <laughs> and then I do this, y'all gonna laugh, but I do this. I put a, I cover up a box with tape. I put, I put the spacer and the throttle body in there. And then I use this blow dryer on the highest heat level it has. And I let it sit for like 45 minutes doing this. And that's how you get the paint to, to cure really good and, and pop. And you see that wrinkle, it'll pop with the, if you use a heat, you have to have heat. You can't just paint it and let it dry. It won't, the, the wrinkle won't, um, won't cure as, as it should. I mean, you could probably put it in the motor. I mean, drop when you, when you fire it up. And running it but now nah, I like to do it this way so yep this is this is uh, how I uh, paint these parts little parts like this and they come out pretty cool 